Hey, what's poppin'? Namaste, people. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yeah, and I hope you are all doing well today, mate. I really do hope that. And welcome back to Chelsea News, the series in Football Therapy where I look across Chelsea news media, see what's going on, and pretty much let you know what's going on whilst giving you my own opinion on said stories. And today, really, we're talking about the players coming back to training, how things look, what we can expect, really, moving forwards from now on in in terms of the resumption of football in England, in the Premier League, and also, I do want to talk about Rafael Guerrero. Not because there's loads of headlines linking the player to Chelsea this morning, no, no, no. An article in football.london got me thinking about how maybe this could be the kind of player Chelsea should be looking at, and also, maybe, this is the kind of player that Dortmund could afford to sell to Chelsea. In a difficult market, could Chelsea look at these kind of players as a potential solution? Maybe. I just basically want to talk about him and again, like I usually do, pose the question to you guys, the viewer, what you think about the player. And we move. So if you want more daily Chelsea Football Club updates, then please do consider subscribing to Football Therapy if you already haven't done so. Why not hit that bell notifications icon as well, as it is important to get the updates. Like the video to help me out, that would be kind. Alright then, let's get on with the content. The boys are back in town. <laughs> That's right, Chelsea players are back training in safe and secure and isolated conditions in small groups in segments. Now, before we talk about the ramifications of that, let's just have a look at these pictures. The boys are back. Jorginho looks like he's been on a desert island. And Kante also has hair, which is a little bit mind-blowing. I mean, I assumed he would have had hair and just shaved his head, but it's weird to see it, bro. All players are back by the looks of things, including Callum hudson Adore, who's currently on bail for an arrest inquiry. His COVID-19 test came back negative, so he was granted permission to train with the rest of the boys. Now, they turn up at Cobbin, they stay separated, and they go off to their groups of five, I believe it is, and they train for 75 minutes. Frank Lampard, Jody Morris, Joe Edwards, I think they're all taking individual groups on running drills, pretty much talking, you know, socially distanced and getting, uh, I don't know, their vibe back, I suppose. Originally, the Premier League clubs were granted 60 minutes to train in isolated sessions, but they asked for a little bit more and they were granted by the officials 75 minutes. Of course, I suppose you want to squeeze as much time as you can out of what's been given to you so you can basically get as fit as quick as possible for the return of football. Now, when is the return of football? Well, it was mentioned that it could be the 12th of June, which does seem very soon indeed. But since Premier League officials and the government, you know, everyone who's discussing it, have all said there's probably going to be a little bit of flexibility in that date, so we can ex probably expect the return of football to be a little bit later than the 12th of June. The good news is none of Chelsea's players look fat, really. I mean, Kepa might look a little bit doughy, but everyone I think is kept in shape and I think Chelsea have probably been very, very uh, strict with that. You know, I, they sent them out with bikes and they've given them like training regimes and stuff. So if they are fit and good to go and no one's put on any extra timber, then hopefully after some drills, when they start contact training, hopefully it won't take too long to get back into the flow of things. And when football does resume, hopefully, hopefully Chelsea can pick up some form or pick up the form where they left off go back in, finish the season, finish in the top four, and who knows, maybe even win the FA Cup. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It's back, baby. Still, it all has to be done under safe circumstances. Unfortunately, Chelsea have the Bundesliga to watch and take notes from. Obviously, they had a very successful opening game weekend, and hopefully they can learn from that. So let's talk about the Bundesliga. Most notably, let's talk about Dortmund. You know what, we all watched the derby between Dortmund and Schalke, and you know who shined brightly that, was it night? No, it was daytime in that match. Rafael Guerrero. And I saw this article on football.london which said, you know, the scouting of Jadon Sancho might have led Chelsea to the perfect left back. Now, I'm not sure he's the perfect left back, but he looks like a darn good left back. And I think this kind of player should be considered as an option for Chelsea Football Club. And I'm going to tell you why. The 26-year-old Portuguese player is in, obviously in his prime at that age. He's playing at a very high level at Dortmund. And also, he... 
I don't want to say he's surplus to requirements because he has made like 18 appearances this season, but Hakimi can comfortably play left wing back or even left back for Dortmund. Sure, he's a Real Madrid player, but maybe they can acquire him and Real Madrid can make some money off the player. He might want to stay at Dortmund. Guerrero can play left back, left mid, maybe in a financial climate, in a transfer window where Jadon Sancho remains at Dortmund because perhaps they can't get his value out of potential buyers and if they do want to make money still, maybe he's surplus to requirements enough to sell as in Rafael Guerrero, I mean. He obviously scored that lovely brace against Schalke and one of his goals on the outside of his left boot as he was falling. Whew. What technique and what a lovely finish. A few stats and numbers about the player's performance this season. The left back, who can play left mid, has got seven goals and two assists in just over 1,600 minutes, which is a very healthy offensive return from a left back. Granted, yes, he's probably still rotating positionally, but still a very healthy return. He also has two Man of the Match awards this season in the Bundesliga, which is very respectable for a left back. And he maintains a very sharp 89% passing accuracy in the league. Very tidy with his feet, also very offensive. So like I said, 26 years old, might not be the most expensive option in the world, an offensive option, a versatile option, kind of like other left backs Chelsea Football Club have been looking at. Of course, left back is a huge, huge problem position for Chelsea, or certainly that's what we are led to believe. Emerson does not look like he can do it anymore, and although Marcos Alonso has been a very good left wing back, I think everyone would agree that Chelsea need a left back of the same caliber of Reese James at right back. It's been a recurring narrative for months now, Chelsea are massively in for a left back. Obviously, the likes of Ben Chilwell had been linked. It was always assumed he's going to cost 75 million or north of that if you're going by the Harry Maguire transfer fee. Even if that's less down to 50 million, that could be quite a lot. Chelsea have started negotiations a while ago with Porto regarding Alex Tellez, a long-term Chelsea football club target. PSG have come into the equation and it's no certainty that that deal can get over the line for Chelsea Football Club. Of course, there's the consideration of Robin Gosens as well of Atalanta, a very good left wing back like Marcus Alonso, better defensively due to having a better engine on him also can play left back, so a superb option as well, maybe? For me, Rafael Guerrero should be put into the mix of all these players. He's of that age bracket, that makes a lot of sense. Of course, Tellez is 27 going on 28, I think. Guerrero being 26 just seems like a smart signing, if possible. Now, I really must offer this disclaimer to you guys, the viewer. I'm not saying Chelsea are courting Rafael Guerrero. I'm saying a news article from football.london said he could be appropriate for Chelsea and I was thinking about what a great performance he's put in against uh, Schalke and I pretty much possibly agree. Now, I haven't watched it all season, I've just looked at his stats, his metrics and a recent performance and his player profile, age, you know, nationality, where he plays positionally and from that alone I'm posing the question to you guys, the viewer, could this be an ideal signing for Chelsea Football Club? if Dortmund can afford to sell him and maybe keep Hakimi if they can get that deal over the line. What do you guys think? Is this something Chelsea Football Club should be considering? Do you think they should just go all in for Alex Tellez? Maybe pay a little bit more than Chelsea FC wanted? Do you think Robin Gosens is a good signing? I think he'd be appropriate, but people might think he's too much of a left wing back. Hmm, I don't know, but it's also been rumored and reported that Frank Lampard's primary target is, of course, Ben Chilwell of Leicester. Leicester, who do not need to sell, who knows, perhaps Ben Chilwell puts in a transfer request, wants to join the revolution at Chelsea, but Chelsea would have to probably still play a lot for him. And remember, Ben Chilwell was in stinky form the last time he was playing football. What do you think? Get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and opinions on the players I've spoken about in today's video. And if you have enjoyed the content today, guys, please do consider liking the video. That helps me out a lot. Subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new to the channel because I upload every single day, giving you guys updates and opinions on Chelsea Football Club. And you are also all welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that is soon to be happening, hopefully, in the Premier League. 
and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I laugh me baby